How to Grow Firecracker Plant Firecracker plants, generally known as Roscelia equisetiformis, are an enduring plant that starts from Mexico. Firecracker plants grow to the tallness of around 3 to 5 feet. They produce restricted blossoms that have a rounded shape and are extremely long. The plant doesn't have any season for creating blossoms, and in this way, it can bloom during any season if there is satisfactory light and warmth. Firecracker plants do well in warm temperatures. They come in different tones, including orange, white, pink, red, and yellow. Firecracker plants produce wonderful blossoms when there is satisfactory warmth and light. They require the sun to flourish and bloom, however, they can tolerate halfway shade. The most positive growth temperatures for firecracker plants are between 18 degrees Celsius and 24 degrees Celsius. On the off chance that you choose to plant this plant in your home when the temperatures are down, you need to guarantee that you bring the plant inside where the temperatures are positively contrasted with outside. Watering Water is a fundamental segment in the growth of any plant. Consequently, when you plant the firecracker plants, you need to guarantee that you water it satisfactorily to set up as required. Albeit the firecracker plants are dry spell safe, they need water all through their growing period. Soil Each plant has a kind of soil that it does well in. The firecracker plants do well in practically any sort of soil. It tolerates loamy, sandy, and even dirt soils. It likewise flourishes where the pH of the dirt reaches from antacid to acidic. Fertilizer the plants should be prepared following 14 days. The best compass to utilize is the fluid manure that has half strength and is weakened. Propagation On the off chance that you need to proliferate your plants, you can just cut the stem tips during spring. The tips that you pick ought to be sound and have an end with at least two leaves. Pruning During summer and spring, guarantee that you prune consistently. Pruning assists you with keeping up and achieve the ideal shape and eliminate any dead pieces of the plant. After the plant stems are finished blooming, you need to prune them back with the goal that they can blossom once more.